Guys, last week I shared how crazy expensive smoothies can get. And I feel like this can be really deceiving. I mean, the $28 one was out of hand, but if they cost like $15 for or $12 for a smoothie, that's not realistic to have every day. So today I'm sharing with you my $2.69 smoothie. That's all organic, has everything you need to keep your blood glucose level stable, to feel energized, help achieve your weight loss goals in today's video. All right guys, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition and human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about the science backed information that you can use to feel amazing again. And part of that is, you know, having something that's actually going to help you serve your goals that isn't also going to break the bank. And we have a sponsor for today's video that is so perfectly tailored to making sure that you can just keep that price down for actually being able to eat healthy food that's going to serve your goals. So Thrive Market is actually a sponsor for today's video. And what I personally love about them, because the vast majority of you guys are all over the US, but you don't necessarily have access to a grocery store that has things like chia seeds or flax seeds or even hemp seeds, things that we're going to be using in our smoothie today, you can get it shipped directly to your door and it's way more affordable than going to a health food store anyway. But just to give an example, I got their, that was aggressive. I got their organic chia seeds from their website and typically the six ounce bag will cost about, I think it was $15.99, but because I'm a Thrive Market member, I got it for only $7.99, which is pretty amazing. And since it gets delivered straight to your door, it's super easy, super affordable. And you can get these organic natural foods for about 25 to 50% lower than retail price, which is amazing. That's what this whole video is about, is making sure that we can keep the cost of healthy food low. But you can also get like beauty supplies there and eco-friendly cleaning supplies and they even offer free shipping for all orders over $49. And guys, you see on my channel, I pretty much never work with brands. I'm super choosy on who I work with because I only want to show you guys what I actually truly believe in and that I think will help you. And it's also pretty awesome because Thrive Market is adding an additional discount for you guys. So in addition to all of those discounted organic food prices, you're also going to be getting an additional 25% off and a 30 day free membership trial. So I'll have the link down below. And honestly guys, like this is something that you have been asking me about on where to get these foods like the chia seeds, the coconut butter, all these things that I'm going to be talking about today. This is how you can do it and this is how you can also keep it affordable. So thank you to Thrive Market. I'm going to be using all the things in our video today. So let's jump straight into making this smoothie. Smoothie time. And in case you're wondering what that is, I have a little experiment going on. I'm making homemade coconut yogurt so if it works out I'll be sharing it with you guys. All right. First things first, our blender. First ingredient we have is actually homemade coconut milk. I have a whole video on how to actually make homemade coconut milk, but it's pretty awesome because this is another way to save money and have a higher quality product. And this takes five minutes to make. Everyone who hears that doesn't believe me until they do it and then they're like, hmm. And it tastes so much better. And you get coconut butter out of it too. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I like using nut milk over like, oat milk, for example, which you guys know you've seen that, that video, because it helps to keep the sugars low. And that's something that we want in order to make sure that the blood glucose levels are stable, that you can tap into fat burning mechanisms more efficiently, and so you don't get hungry. So I'm adding about 10 to 12 ounces of this in here, maybe a little more. <laughs> because it's made out of unsweetened coconut flakes, it's about an ounce per serving, and that makes it at about 37 cents. So actually for this whole recipe, I'll also have it written down below so that you can just copy it and then throw it on your phone, note section, do it every day. All right, now let's get into the chia seeds. So remember, got that, but I already have it pre-measured. And you can also tell that I did something really not smart. So see this little chunks? I did a rookie smoothie mistake and I went to scoop the peanut butter first, which is one of our next ingredients, and then scoop the chia seeds. That wasn't smart. So now these little chunks of peanut butter in here. So with the chia seeds, we're gonna be getting a lot of the protein, the fat, and the fiber. Chia seeds are actually an amazing source of fiber. This is how we can actually really significantly increase the fiber, which is so important for staying satiated. So I have about two tablespoons right here. And if you guys have made some of my smoothies before, you know that chia seeds is something that I really love to incorporate. If you don't have the strongest blender, then you can also even just pre-grind your chia seeds so that they emulsify a little bit better. And two tablespoons of that roughly equates to about 49 cents. Another really great source of fiber, fat, and even some protein is going to be flax seeds. Can you see them? And what I also love about flax seeds is that they are remarkably inexpensive. Considering you really only use a tablespoon, which by the way, that was a tablespoon, it actually comes out to be about 12 cents for that tablespoon. So it's a pretty great source of fiber and getting in those healthy fats and getting in some amount of protein, but keeping the cost low. Next, peanut butter. So I personally prefer 
prefer almond butter right now at least. I go through phases. I was obsessed with peanut butter for a while and now I'm like back on the almond butter bandwagon. But if you are looking to keep costs lower, organic peanut butter is a really great option. And it's another type of fat that we're getting in for our smoothie to help keep you satiated, help get that gap between meals so that you can keep those fat burning mechanisms on and give your gut some rest. I got this one from Thrive Market and I believe it was about $5.99 per pound for the organic peanut butter. And so for a tablespoon, it's about 18 cents. I pre-sorted these earlier, so it was all set and I didn't have to make you guys wait, but now it's all like room temperature and hard to get out. I want every last bite. Now, another really great way to save money on your smoothie is to just not use protein powder. I've talked about in, I think last week's video about how protein powder isn't necessarily necessary. It can be convenient, but it is also more expensive. So if you're looking for a more whole foods route and you're looking to keep costs down, one thing that I like to use are hemp seeds. So not only are they going to contain protein, which is great, and that's what we're looking for, but it's also going to contain some fibers, some anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats. And for about two tablespoons of them, for the organic one, it's about 72 cents. Oh, I hate measuring. So this is roughly a tablespoon. So let's get a second one in there. And this is also something that you can order from Thrive Market. I just like to put all mine in these cute little glass jars. They have their own Thrive Market brand that's less expensive than all the other organic hemp seeds, so you can get that one too. So this is switching it up. I typically use blueberries for my smoothies. I just like it because it's very easy, high in antioxidants, slower sugar, but I feel like making sort of a pina colada-y type of smoothie today. So we're going to be adding in pineapple. Now you can swap this for about a quarter cup of blueberries as well if you want to. And that's actually going to be a less expensive route and help bring the cost down a little bit more. But I just felt like this. All right guys, so we're, we're having some pineapple. Organic frozen pineapple, about a quarter cup. Now that is going to be about 69 cents-ish, depending on the brand that you get. And the last ingredient is half banana. I'm gonna put in there. So bananas are a fairly inexpensive fruit, so it's really great. I think that equated to, if I did my math correctly, about 12 cents for a half of a banana. But if you wanted to bring the sugars down even lower, then you can also swap that for about a quarter to a half cup of cauliflower rice as well. And I realize that sounds really weird, but it'll give it the thickness that you're looking for for your smoothie without the sugars as well. So especially if you're really focusing on weight loss, that's a really good swap to have. Oh, almost forgot my last thing. So I always like to add a little pinch of Celtic sea salt, which you can also order on Thrive Market. Oh my gosh, when I found this out, I was really excited because that is another thing. A lot of my AM peeps are always asking me, where do I get Celtic sea salt? Thrive Market. I'm just adding a little pinch here, just because it helps to bring out the natural sweetness without adding in more sugar. That's a good little tip. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to let it blend. Let's get that blended. Hey. Oh, it smells like a pina colada with a hint of hemp seeds. My cups are never big enough. I always end up having to take a few sips before I add on any toppings. Oh, and since it's a pina colada, uh -huh. boom. Da -da. So this entire thing costs two dollars and 69 cents that is less than a lot of things that you would go and buy out to eat water is even now like two dollars and something cents if you were to buy that at like a grocery store in some places i will have the whole recipe listed down below so you guys can actually go through and make this without having to rewatch me talk about it unless you want to which is cool go ahead this smoothie which will help to keep you satiated which will help you achieve your wellness goals is less expensive than getting like a frappe at mcdonald's or a grande just regular starbucks latte let alone adding on all of those flavor things that you guys know I'm not a fan of. And it's certainly less than if you were to go to any place to get a smoothie, especially one that's actually going to make you feel good and help you achieve your goals. So remember guys, you can get most of these ingredients that I talked about today on Thrive Market. You can check out the link below for how to get an extra 25% off on the already discounted products and a free 30 day trial. I know you guys wanna feel good. And I know that for some of you, it's just a matter of being able to get these ingredients to your house. So that's where having something that actually can deliver it to you is really amazing and for less expensive for what you'd get at the grocery store anyway. Now we talked a lot about how this smoothie is going to be really helpful for keeping you satiated and helping you achieve your wellness goals, especially if weight loss is something you're looking for. So if you are also looking for weight loss or if that's your goal, make sure you check out this video next for the 10 ways that you can lose weight without counting calories. Let me switch hands. Also, if you love the science fact information and you want to start feeling awesome or keep feeling awesome, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure to turn on the notification bell as well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go finish this up and I'll see you guys in my next video.